This is the first in a new series of videos in which I'll be looking at this. Uh, it is of course a HP 9862A calculator plotter. Um, if you watch my channel then some time ago you may have seen some videos I posted in which I uh, repaired and restored uh, an HP 9830A desktop calculator. And uh, this is a plotter for that type of machine. Uh, I have since then bought a couple more of those machines that um, I'm uh, trying to get around to restoring and repairing. Uh, I'll make a video of those as well. I won't go into quite as much detail as I did on the previous one. But I've had this uh, for quite a long time now and uh, as ever most of my own projects get pushed to the bottom of the pile but finally uh, I'm getting around to this. Uh, so I haven't done anything to this yet. I had a quick peek inside when I received it so just to make sure the boards were there. Uh, I didn't take this cover off, it was already off, so uh, it's a bit of a, an ominous sign. Um, now when I bought this off eBay, the listing showed it connected to the um, calculator that I bought with it. But unfortunately when it turned up, it didn't have the interface. So I think the seller had removed it since he took the photographs and didn't mention that um, he wasn't including that. And uh, you may be aware these need a, a special interface to connect them to the HP calculator. So I don't have that. Um, but it is a fairly simple device, fairly simple interface. So what I've decided to do, and this is one of the reasons um, I've delayed working on this, uh, what I've decided to do is to make some reproductions of the interface board. Um, it's fairly straightforward, it's just a, a handful of 74 series ICs and the uh, module plugs into the back of the HP calculator and then there's a lead that connects that to the plotter. So if you think you might be interested uh, in one of those boards then let me know. Um, I do have a request, if you do have one of those uh, interfaces um, and you live in the UK I would very much appreciate uh, being able to borrow it for uh, maybe two or three days or just the case. I have all the information I need to make the actual PCB uh, but I would also like to make some uh, 3D printed cases for it as well. So uh, that's the module case that the interface uh, PCB fits inside. But I need um, one of the uh, originals in order to do that uh, because it does form part of the, uh, the structure that you slide into the HP calculator. Uh, you can use the board without it, but it would be much better if I could make up some uh, cases to um, supply with the bare PCBs. But uh, uh, so if you do have one I'd very much appreciate you contacting me and uh, hopefully we can arrange uh, for me to borrow it for a few days. Uh, so these are quite interesting um, devices. Um, you can see looking here it's got s some damage to it so it's not in the best of condition. Um, but it's quite interesting the way that these work. Uh, and I'll go over that uh, more in uh, future videos when we look at it. Uh, this here is just really a big potentiometer. So uh, again, we'll look at this later. It does seem to move quite freely, so um, hopefully the mechanics are, are okay. As I say, I did look inside and it is an XY plotter. So uh, normally you have a pen that sits on here. I guess it's all bent and distorted, so I'm not quite sure what's happened to this. Looks like it's been uh, fairly badly damaged at some point. This is really heavy, it weighs about uh, 20 kilos, 25 kilos, and uh, it's all solid metal casting. And uh, we'll just pop it open, move the lights down a bit. So you can see that the structure is very similar in terms of the, the where the PCB. Uh, racking is arranged to the HP calculator, just far less in here, of course. And uh, all we really have is a, a big beefy power supply, and that's uh, this is the uh, obviously uh, capacitors and uh, transformer, and at the back we have the actual power supply and regulators, and then we have a series of um, cards, each performs a specific task. And one of the nice things about HP machines of this era uh, was the way that they divided everything into uh, specific tasks and uh, even had uh, information uh, cards uh, that slid in and out. Um, so what I'll be doing is going through the cards one at a time and looking for any faults. We've got some foam up under the lid here, you can't see it, but um, there's a, a lot of uh, 
fairly trivial work needs to be done um, but the first thing I have to do is make up the interface. Now initially I will probably use one of the uh, demo pick boards I've shown in previous videos to uh, just create a simple uh, interface I can use to control this before I start hooking it up to the calculator uh, and then I will go through um, building the uh, replica interface and uh, see if we can get the calculator to actually plot anything on here. So I say this is just a very uh, quick first view, just a, a quick introduction what I intend to do and uh, a request for anyone that has an interface um, to see if I could borrow the case off it. Um, so if you do have one of these and um, you got any uh, information on it uh, then please let me know. I do have a schematic for it. I do have a schematic for the interface card uh, I've got a few test programs I can enter into the calculator um, but uh, other than that we'll be doing this from scratch so it should be quite an interesting project.